Some COVID-19 patients in the country are found to have suffered stroke while being hospitalized due to the infection. Based on the interim analysis of an ongoing Philippine Corona study, 2.2% or 62 out of more than 2,700 COVID positive patients from 37 hospitals in the country experience this. Dr. Epi Coliantes of the Philippine General Hospital Stroke Services attributes this to the inflammation in the brain caused by the virus. Initially, nag a headache, no, iba iba yung sinasabi, nangimisay, tumitigas, no, nangimisay. Um, and then, pwede mag stroke sila, pwede mag coma. Some of these are elderly who have mild to severe COVID 19 cases. Upon recovery, they run the risk of developing Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, or other cognitive impairment in the long run. As of now, these patients are given the same standard of care provided to all COVID positive patients. Yung iba, nibigyan ng remdesivir, kaya lang may mga pag-aaral na yon na nagsasabi, yung remdesivir does not really uh, decrease mortality. No? Pero uh, nasusorted kasi yung hospital stay with, uh, with that medicine, so binibigyan pa rin. And then kung may infection sa lungs, binibigay rin, binibigyan ng oxygen kung nahirapan huminga. As of October, more than 380 COVID patients being treated in the country have taken remdesivir. As for Japan's anti-flu drug Avigan, independent trials in the Philippines have started. Health Undersecretary Maria Rosario Vergeres says eight participants are currently enrolled in the trials, three of which are from the Philippine General Hospital, another three from Jose and Rodriguez Memorial Hospital, and two from Quirino Memorial Hospital. Health officials hope to enroll more patients to achieve their target of 164 patients. The trial has faced several delays due to documentary requirements and lack of participants. Meron na ho less stringent criteria para mag-include ng patients para dumami po yung mga nare-recruit nating pasyente. The Food and Drug Administration, meanwhile, has a reminder for those who are planning on purchasing the Chinese herbal medicine Yanwan Singwen. The FDA approved the drug in August as treatment for certain symptoms. If you have a COVID and you have some symptoms that are affected by the approved traditional use, then it might be helpful. No? But in the Philippines, it's not approved for COVID-19 treatment. For News 5, Greg Gregorio, we are One News.